Hi, I'm Avery Hubbard and I've been living with sickle cell anemia SS for 22 years. I was diagnosed at birth. My parents already knew the risk because they both had the trait and my sister who was born before me, she has the trait. So we were able to catch it pretty early. Since we caught it early, we were able to begin treatments. I started off taking penicillin and folic acid daily um, to prevent infections and folic acid to help with my blood production. Um, but we still had to figure out what exactly was gonna happen with the pain crises. My first pain crises was before I could really remember, I had just began to walk. So they tried to stand me up and I would not stand up. I kept falling down and was really whiny. And it turned out that I was having a pain crisis in my leg. From there, I had to learn myself what I could and could not do. I learned that I couldn't go in cold water from experience. In elementary school, I learned that I could not run for long distances. In middle school, I found, well, my doctors found out about hydroxyurea, which is a chemotherapy drug. In high school, I felt so good from taking hydroxyurea that I thought I didn't have sickle cell anymore. So I stopped taking it and I realized what a bad idea that was <laughs> because I was in the hospital once a month with a pain crisis. And it kind of helped me show, or helped show me that hydroxyurea did work and that it did ease the number of pain crises and it really made a big difference. And now that I have been on it regularly, I can go about a year or longer without being in the hospital with a pain crisis. My first surgery was in kindergarten. I had an enlarged spleen, so they had to remove that. And in middle school, I had my gallbladder removed because it was discovered that I had gallstones. And my most recent surgery um, was in 2012. I had a total shoulder replacement. They replaced the ball and socket um, because of the avascular necrosis. My joint was dying. While I was in the hospital, I was fortunate enough to go to a children's hospital that um, was pretty big and knew a lot about sickle cell and um, they actually had tutors. So even when I was in the hospital, I was doing schoolwork. I had a tutor come to my room if I couldn't go to the school in the hospital. At a young age, I thought I wanted to be a doctor because I wanted to help people as much as everybody in the hospital had helped me. But when I got to high school, I found out about the lab. And ever since then, I have loved the lab and that is what I really want to do. And I hope to do um, research in my future and hopefully help someone going through a disease like sickle cell um, as much as all the healthcare workers have helped me. So even with sickle cell, I you know, wanted to keep up with my studies. In high school, I was able to graduate with a 4.3 GPA. I have maintained a 3.9 GPA in school. So it is possible, even with sickle cell, to do well and stay on top of things and not let it define you. I did research um, my junior year with a senior clinical laboratory science major, and she was researching a more affordable, affordable way to detect sickle cell in countries overseas where it is more prevalent like Africa and um, Asia. 
I applied for an internship that summer and got it and I did it. I was able to do research at the Center for Disease Control and Prevention. Although that research wasn't for sickle cell, it, I still felt like I was able to make a difference because I was discovering something new. And this summer I will be starting a position at the National Institute of Health doing cancer research. I had a nurse back at my children's hospital who told me that when I look in the mirror, I shouldn't see a big sign that said sickle cell anemia. I should have other words that define me and other goals and things that I want to accomplish in life. And that really stuck with me. And that is what I keep in the back of my mind every day with all the things I want to accomplish. Beyond that, the possibilities are endless because I know that whatever I want to do, I can do.